We are joined this afternoon by Richard Burt, the Chief Executive Officer of Racing and Wagering in Western Australia. Richard, thanks very much for your time. Can you please talk us through what the restrictions are currently for racecourses in WA in terms of essential personnel? Yes, Digby, it's a, it's a very important time, obviously, in racing with the recent announcements by the Federal Government whereby there's restrictions on crowds greater than 500 and less than 100 uh, indoors. And so Rawa, as of Monday, uh, has had in place only essential personnel being eligible to go on to race courses, track work and trials. And so essential personnel are effectively people who carry out the race day. They're the people who bring the horses and the animals to the track. They're the judges, they're the video, the media, and only essential personnel. And to the extreme, if you like, in the way the containment needs to work, those people who are at the track, when they can leave the track, will be asked to do so. So if a, a trainer brings a horse in and his associated people, then they'll be expected to leave once their runner has completed the race. Now that, when you say essential personnel, rules out owners? Correct. So members of the public and owners, as passionate as they'll be about racing, uh, we have strong containment rules in place. OK, Richard, can you please explain why these restrictions are in place as not all race courses necessarily attract crowds or congregations of people? Yeah, correct, Digby. So obviously, particularly uh, track work and trials, they have much smaller crowds. It would be completely reasonable for people to say, I want to go and see my horse. Um, but equally at race meetings, we're just putting these sort of strong controls in early, as I say, as of last Monday, so that we minimise any sort of opportunity for the spread of the infection. We don't want anyone coming on course that doesn't need to in the conduct of that race meeting for that day. Can you please talk us through some of the risk mitigation measures being implemented to protect our industry? Yeah, there's a variety of them, obviously, including the containment measures I've outlined. But on top of that, we've got uh, containment within the track. So areas uh, where jockeys are going to be congregating or other people, they're going to be separated. We're going to have people who are going to keep the separation in place. Hygiene is going to be critical. And so those sort of things are going to be naturally available for people to regularly maintain high standards of health. Um, we're also increasing the weight for jockeys by one kilo as of the 25th of March, which is completely understandable when you think that jockeys are going to find it very difficult to manage their weight because of the containment rules that we're applying, both what we're asking of them at the track as well as in their own lives. Richard, how can the industry keep up with any further changes or restrictions? Yeah, so it's going to be an evolving space. Um, what we're seeing today I don't think is going to be the end of it. They're going to have to maintain uh, knowledge of how COVID-19 is unfolding. They need to stay in touch with uh, RAWA through these media alerts, through our website, and there's going to be regular updates that we're going to be providing on a daily basis through TAB Radio. Um, at 7.55 in the morning through the RAWA website and information generally I would encourage people to connect with. Richard, thanks very much for your time and best of luck in these trying circumstances. Thanks, Digby.